Hey everybody. Jeff Guterman in Studio B. Trying to do the best I can here. And we've got an afternoon ball game. It's the Atlanta Braves at the Los Angeles Dodgers. Braves magic number is eight. They lead the San Francisco Giants by five and one half games. And in this game, it'll be Phil Necro for the Braves. He has 120. And he'll be facing Don Sutton. He has 110. It's been a very, very rough year for Don Sutton. I'm going to bring you the lineups in just a couple minutes here. And Kathy Harden has arrived. The X post is up. And it's good. It's Phil Necro for Atlanta and Don Sutton. For the Dodgers. The post is up and the post is good. Again, magic number eight for Atlanta. They're 90 and 60. Five and one half game lead over the Second place Giants for the Braves. Felix Mian leading off at second. Tony Gonzalez in center. Henry Aaron in right. Rico Cardi in left. Orlando Cepeda at first. Cletus Boyer at third. Bob Didier, the, cat, uh, the catcher. Bill Garrido at short. And the pitcher is Phil Necro, the knuckler. So glad to have you all here. Kathy Horton for the Dodgers. The lineup for the Dodgers, they are 73 and 76. 
three games under 500, 16 and one half out. They're mathematically eliminated. Leading off, Maury Wills in short, at short. Batting second, Manny Moda in left. Willie Davis in center. Wesley Parker at first. Willie Crawford in right. Jim Lefebvre at third. Tom Haller doing the catching. Ted Sizemore at second. And the pitcher is Don Sutton. He has won 10 on the year. He's had just an awful year. Whoa. We have a warm up from Kathy Harden and Joel Horland with that eagle eye. He's listed as a left hander. Holy cow. Let me see what we have here on uh, baseball reference. Thank you, Joel. Weren't you the one? Didn't you tell me that uh, Roland was a left hander? Lord. We have a. Uh, well, they have him as a, uh, a right handed batter. And I'll tell you what. He's listed as a right-handed batter. There's a warm-up here from Kathy Harden. Yeah, let me just double-check here on Don Sutton. I'll change it. I'm going to change it here. You have a good eye. And you, you and baseball reference are enough for me. So we're gonna change him to a right-handed hitter right here. The good news is that it doesn't really make a big difference. Given that he's a pitcher's hitting card. Now let's get a warm up from Kathy Harden here. Warm up from Kathy Harden. Here it is, which Tiger pitcher picked off both Brock and Flood at first in the same inning of a game in 1968. Whoa, that's a feat. I just took a guess. And that's a warm up. I say Lolich. Joel Horland says Sparma. Kathy Harden, that's some feet picking off. Well, it was just a guess, folks. Thank you, Kathy Harden. And let's spread it around. Good guess from Joel. You got a good eye there, Joel. That's the second error.
And we thank you, Kathy, for the repost. Thank you for the repost. We're going to start in about three minutes, folks. He also said John Hiller. It was Lolich. We are at Dodger Stadium and the Dodgers take the field. Don Sutton on the mound. Taking his warm ups. Leading it off for Atlanta with a magic number of eight. A win here gives them a six game lead and a magic number of seven. Here's Sutton now. And the pitch to Felix. That's gonna be six, seven right-handed, chops it to second. That's for Sizemore. Sizemore three, 18. Three eighteen fourteen three G two gets to it. E eighteen. Four seven eight. And he throws him out. he throws him out. And there's one away. Miana's retired. And here comes Tony Gonzalez. Okay, Sutton gets the sign from Haller. Here's the pitch to Gonzalez. 5-7 left-handed, and that is a grounder to first. Scooped up by Orlando and, I'm sorry, by Parker, and Sutton will cover the bag. Two outs for Henry Aaron. Four eight, right-handed, grounds it to third. Lefebvre fields it, throws to Parker, and the side is out, a one, two, three for Sutton. We've gone half, it's Atlanta nothing, and Los Angeles coming up. Here's Phil Necro, he's 120. Wills to lead it off. Okay, Necro. <clears throat> the pitch to Wills. <sighs> One nine right handed. That's a shot hit out into the gap. And it's rolling to the wall. Wills rounding second into third with a triple. A lead off triple by Maury Wills here in the bottom of the first. It was 1-9, right-handed, triple one to eight. And it was an eight. So Will's on third, nobody out. Here's Manny Motor now. He 
grow from the stretch. Three seven right handed, no one's being held, nothing's in, ground ball short, and they will hold, wait a minute, we'll, we'll check if they hold on Wills with a runner on third. <clears throat> it's a three seven right handed, it's an A. Five. If hit to second or short, batter out, runner advances. It was a three seven, it is hit to short. Oh my, hit too short. And the runners, the runner wills will come home. How do you like that? A run batted in for Moda and the Dodgers take a one nothing lead. Whoa. Super advanced. <coughs> Here's Willie Davis. That would have been a basic or, or advanced that they would have just held Wills. And that was infield back though. Had the infield been in. That would have been held. It was a plus, though. And therefore, it would have been a single. So it's good that the infield wasn't in. At least for Atlanta. Oh. Here's Willie Davis now. One out, nobody on. Here's Necro. Two five right-handed, that's belted. Oh my, it's extra bases again. And Davis with a triple. Two triples in the inning off Necro, off his knuckler. Whoa. Two five. Right-handed, triple one to 11, it was a 10. Now Davis on third. And here's pretty boy Parker now. Two triples. Two big hits. Here's the pitch now to Parker. That's one six, grounds to first B. Grounds to first, the runner will hold. Actually a three to one, but it doesn't matter. Two outs now. And here's Willie Crawford. Clutch situation. Necro. 211 right-handed fly ball right field for Aaron. He makes the catch <clears throat> and the side is retired. But one run on two triples. One left. We've gone one. It's Dodgers one, Braves nothing. Dodgers off to a quick one-nothing lead. It'll be uh, 
Cardi, Cepeda, and Boyer in the top of the second. As Sutton comes out and takes his warm-ups, we just learned he's a right-handed hitter. I learned. Yeah, it's in this ball game here. Oh. Here's Rico now. One nothing Dodgers. Sutton. And the pitch. There's going to be 4-8 right-handed. Grounds it to third. For Lefebvre, over to Pretty Boy, one down. Now Orlando. It's going to be 2-9 right-handed. Base hit to left for Orlando. Thrown in by Moda. He'll be held. We played his game before. Sutton a plus five. He's plus three and with Haller a plus two, plus five quotient. He, if he gets the lead, of course. One to 21, one to 19 with a lead. He's being held. Let's see if he gets the lead. No risk there. Four, no, he does not. And he'll sit tight, but he's being held. Has to be held as long as he's on first. Or can you unhold him? If you unhold him, okay, he'll have the lead again. Shit, no, so we will not unhold. Here's Cletus now. Okay, Sutton from the stretch. That's one six right-handed. Uh, grounds it back to Sutton. He turns around, throws it to Sizemore at second, and then back to Pretty Boy for an inning-ending double play. Score that one to four to three. Side is retired. No runs, one hit. The single by Orlando doubled up. It's one nothing, middle of the second here. I have been just driving myself absolutely insane with worry. And it's really nothing to worry about now. I realize it's absurd to worry like this. 
Here's Phil Necro now. It's just physically, it's still with you, you know, and you want to try to get rid of it. Here's Lefebvre to lead it off. It's one nothing Dodgers. This is the second game of a two. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy here. Sometimes we miss one. Braves won the first game. It's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Always had a Dodgers won this one real world 5-2. Necro got the loss. Sutton went all the way for the win. Okay, Lefebvre leading it off. Here's Phil. He allowed two triples. That knuckler hung. <laughs> Suspended. That's what happened. Wills hit one, then Davis hit one. Here's Phil now. The pitch to Lefebvre. That's going to be 2-8 right-handed. A liner to second caught by Felix. One down. And here comes Tom Haller, the catcher. Negro gets the sign from Didier and into his windup. And that 6 8 left handed struck him out. Two down. You know, no, that knuckler can get away from you. And that's what happened in the first inning. Here's Sizemore. It's two outs, nobody on. Remember the E, was it called the Ephus pitch? There were variations of it where they throw it high in the air and somehow it manages to cross the plate and pitchers couldn't hit it. <coughs> A real novelty in baseball. I think it was uh, the guy who originated it was named Ephus or something like that. And they called it the Ephus pitch. And then others did it, practiced it. Okay, here's the pitch to Sizemore. That's going to be 210 right handed. Oh, Sizemore swings and belts it into the gap. And he strolls in with a two out double. So the Dodgers now, two triples and a double off Necro. It's two outs, and here's Sutton. Sutton is a 2WR, and we thank Joel Horland. You know, it irks me, but I think what would be better for Stratomatic is if they had more transparency, if they would have a section on their website clearly stated erratum, erratum, and, you know, something like that and, and, and show we made an error with Sutton. We put him left when he's really right. Change it to right, folks, which we've done. An error only becomes a mistake when you fail to acknowledge it and do whatever you can, if anything, to rectify it, to correct it. Acknowledgement is the first step. Okay, it's Sutton, right-handed hitter, with two outs and Sizemore on first.
Here's Necro now from the stretch. And the pitch to Sutton. Whoa, 3-5, he chops it to short. Garrido throws it to Orlando. And the side is retired. That was a 3-5 ground out. And it's no runs, one hit. The double by Sizemore. We've gone two. I want to tell you something, Joel. I had that issue with Roland. I tweeted it publicly. And they DM'd me. This is on Twitter. I don't know if you use Twitter, but they have private messages, a direct message or a private message, it's called. And that was a huge communication. I'm, I'm not one to be hypercritical. I really appreciate the, I support Stratomatic. I support the game company because I love the game but no one is immune from errors. And when you do so in your game company, openly acknowledge it and then share with the public, make it routine. It's freaking routine when you have this much shit going on. And I'm gonna, I have a mind to post them. They may think I'm a pain in the ass uh, to post them on it and ask them, last time I showed you an error, you, and then I can give them a, uh, you know, you send me a private message. Please respond publicly with a, uh, a repost comment. Uh, and uh, moreover, uh, set up a, an easy to access erratum page, whatever the hell you want to call it, but it better be catchy for updates, corrections, uh, and I'm gonna show them this Don Sutton situation here. And are you on X, Joel? That's the question I have. I'd love to give you a, what's called a HT, an hat, a hat trick, a hat tip. Give you an acknowledgement for freaking bringing that out. You brought two out to me. And uh, so emailing them is one thing, that's, but are they going to change it? And also, if they ever print 69 again, are they going to goddamn change it? You're not on X. You know what I mean? That's the other thing. 69, they run out. Okay? They ran out of 69. And then when I first resumed in the pandemic, they didn't have it. Then they had it. After 250 games in my 64 replay, I said, you know what? I'm doing it. If they run out of this one... That's, I mean, that would be the dumbest, stupidest thing if they detect an error and then don't change it on a subsequent printing. Stuff like that just upsets me to no frickin' end. And I don't know why I'm already suspicious that they wouldn't. I mean, what, you know, what kind of a care is there You say you may be wrong. You know what? Let's see Don Sutton batting. Maybe we could frickin' find a picture of him batting. Maybe you are wrong. Oh, shit. I want to get a picture of him batting. And if he's a switch hitter, then you really have trouble. Oh shit, that's not Don Sun. I can't find a picture of him, but maybe you are wrong. Wow. Oh, that's a freaking tough pill to swallow. Then why the hell is Why in God's name does, is it listed? <sighs> A 
and he died. <coughs> oh, sure. Shit. Maybe you are right. Whoa. But did you see him with your own eyes, batting right-handed? He, I have him on Wikipedia as batting right-handed. I have him on Baseball Reference. Whoa, he played 23 frickin' years, people. That's a lot of frickin' years. Holy cow. No wonder he won over 300 games. Well, he played 23 years. 324 wins, though. So, you saw him right-handed? You know, come on, how much evidence do we need? I have support from Wikipedia from, look at Sabre. Let's do Sabre. And your eyewitness testimony. Saber Don Sutton. If eventually, we could ask one of his kids, but I mean, you know, how far do we want to go? Let's hear it. Here's Saber now. It doesn't say, it doesn't say here. He was a right handed pitcher, folks. It, you know, they just don't say it there. I think the best thing to do is say, for me to say to X, you know what? Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, Kathy Hart, you are so damn right, aren't you? That's a question I'm going to go ask Steve. Speaking of Don Sutton, he's on the mound. It's a one nothing game. And here's Didier. With about 12 games left in the season for Atlanta. Uh, they got a five and a half. Yeah, that was real good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be more testimony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, it seems the errors seem to be far and few between. Very rare, so I'm not freaked out about that. Then I'll build it right into the ball game. Build it right into, what was I looking up again? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. The Giants, 149, have 13 games left. They're five and a half out. That accounts for Atlanta having 12 games left. Uh, and they, uh, it, it would be the, one of the biggest collapses, greatest comebacks ever for Atlanta at this stage. And a, a win here, there's six games, but, but St. Louis plays later this date, folks. St. Louis plays later this date. Okay, here's Didier facing Sutton. And there's the pitch. That's going to be a 3-10 right-handed base hit to right by Didier. A leadoff single by the catcher, switch hitter Bob Didier. He's, it was a 3-10 right-handed. 
thrown in by Crawford. Didier is on, not being held, and here's Gil Garrido. Don't you hate when you get an A bunter before the pitcher? Don't you freaking hate that? Fortunately, Necro's an A bunter. <laughs> here's Sutton now from the stretch. And the pitch to Garrido. That's going to be a 6-6 right-handed. Struck him out. And that's the first for Don. And that'll bring up Necro. And you know what? They're going to... I know it seems strange. It may seem... I don't know if anyone does it. Does anyone do that? Do a sacrifice with one out when it's the pitcher and you have Felix do up? Well, I'm going to freaking do it. He's an A-bunter, Phil Necro. In case you're wondering. <coughs> Negro at the plate now. And we're going to see if there's if the infield's going to be in here. like some good old-fashioned detective work there from Harden. And he is being held. Uh, infield is in. Making Necro a B. Okay, Sutton now. Looking at the uh, sacrifice bunch chart, super advanced. He's a, he's a B now. Oh, he lays it down to first and we have a defense situation he drops down the bunt and it's defense who makes the decision and uh we're gonna go for necro uh at first i just don't mess around with that we'll let didier go uh we had a chance for didier i didn't even look because i just don't want to mess with that he's a one to eleven I just don't want to freaking mess with that. And uh, I don't know if the stretch rule applies uh, or what. I don't want to play that aggressively right now. Uh, it's two outs. I mean, I could have gone. That was hit to. Uh, if you really want to know what that means, then, then you have the, the running rating minus four. Shit. Plus fielder's rating. Shit. He, I should have went for him. It's too late now. Uh, Didier would have been a one to seven, and uh, that was hit to uh, the one to seven. Actually, that was hit to uh, first. I am sorry. That was freaking hit to first. Uh, Not pretty boy, one to 11, one to eight. But I still shouldn't, wouldn't want to go for it. Still don't want to. Eight is a good chance. Um, and that's what we have. We have Didier in scoring position. That's what Atlanta, exactly what Atlanta wanted. For Felix now in a clutch situation. And he has a clutch situation reversal. Base hit reversal on 3-7. Here's Sutton now. And the pitch to Felix. That's 3-9. Oh, it's tapped back to Sutton. <laughs> and he throws him out. The side is retired. Just missed. Just missed. No runs again by Don Sutton. One hit and left on. Middle of the third here from Dodger. And uh, here's Necro now. Necro has had allowed some hits. He, two triples in the first. That scored the, the run for the Dodgers. And then a double by Sizemore with two outs left on. Necro wants to tame that knuckler. 
He will face Wills here. Here's Necro now. That 610 switch hit about in left fly ball center. Freaking. Oh. 610 center. Oh shit. Gonzalez 3 7. Bear with me, folks. Oh Christ. I am so messed in the head. Hey, Ken, how are you? So messed in the head. 3-7 Gonzalez. <sighs> Let me just get this. 1-3, it's a double in the gap. It's a D3. It was a 1-3, and he's an E7, 6-12-14. No. It's a double to lead it off for Wills. He had a triple, now a double. And if you all could bear with me, I'm a little... Oh, dizzy. Oh, 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 I am so fucked up. Oh, God, fuck. Eh. At least this is, at least it's a microcosm of my life, my poor life. God. Oh. At least I'm willing to be authentic. Oh. Oh, Lord. Folks, let me do this. Let me lie down for about at least 10 minutes and see how I'll be. And we'll see if I'm able to come back. Thank you. Oh my God, I am so fucked up. Such anxiety ridden, bizarre. I wouldn't even want to share it to you. One is that it is fucked up. My life is fucked up and that is blowing my mind. What's become of I'll be back.
I'll be all right. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Whew. Here's Manny Mulder now. Negro has let up hits, extra base hits, two triples and two doubles now. Wills with a double that got by Gonzalez. Here's the pitch to Motor now. That's gonna be three, two right-handed, fly ball left. This one's for Cardi, he's no better. That's the, you pay for this. He's a 414. You pay for this shit when that happens. He's got the bat, but on a 3-2, right-handed. Wait a minute. Oh shit, that's a replay. I don't know if that's, is that the, re, the roll, the X roll? Because I'm gonna uh, have to do a replay on this. And some of you may already know. But I don't, and I'm, you know, I, it's pretty important that I know. We are on a, uh, we are on a replay mode. We are on a replay mode. Now, here we go now. It's Moda. We don't mess around here. Let's see where we has let up hits. Here we go now. Here's the initial two roll and two now. for a motor. It is a left field X. We know. We know it's a left field X. Here it is. Okay, that's three two. It is three two. It was misread. Oh Lord, look at that. I I must have. God knows what I read that as. Let's just see what the error was. That's gonna be three two right handed fly ball left. <laughs> <laughs> that is nowhere near fly ball left. He struck him out. A 3-2 right-handed on, on uh, Moda. Oh, shit. That's funny. Uh, Necro, <laughs> it must be the knuckler. Uh, one, that's one out. Let's continue with Willie Davis. What a great tool the instant replay is. Oh, Lord. In today's ever-changing world. It, it enhances uh, the, uh, the experience. And we are in Studio B and it's Willie Davis. Will's on second, one down now. Necro. A 20-game winner for this most likely division champion Braves. And the pitch, that's going to be 3-11 right-handed. Hit him! Oh, he hit him. Oh, Lord. And that does not look good. He hit him in the torso. right under the rib, but close enough. Let's look at that again, 311. It was right-handed hit by pitch. You know, baseball has a potential, I'm, I'm surprised there haven't been more deaths, of being deadly. Uh, we saw what happened when Ch with Chapman. Uh, we saw what happened with Tony Canigliaro. He's lucky he lived. Uh, I think there have been other cases where people died shortly after or something like that. I once saw John Motlock, when he was on the Mets, get hit by a line drive right in the forehead. Okay, that's a concussion. I mean, that is... Uh, <laughs> it, it, it was 311, and he's okay. Davis is okay. So it's first and second, and here's Pretty Boy. Coming up now, it's already one nothing Dodgers. Nice to see if Sutton can get some hitting today. He has 
only won 10 games. He had 16 coming into this one. In real world. Now here's Wesley now, facing Necro from the stretch. Yeah, that's going to be 4-12, switch hitter batting left, struck him out. Oh, another knuckler there. Fooled the pretty boy. Oh, he was fooled. Hmm, that's something. <laughs> It was 4-12 switch hitter batting left. And Necro got him. He's won 20 freaking games. Here's Willie Crawford. Even if he does stiff stuff like he's doing today, he's trying to keep them in this ball game. It's left-hander Crawford. Necro looks in from the stretch and the pitch to Crawford. There's another knuckler, 1-6, right-handed, struck him out. And the side is retired. He struck out the side. Whoa. And Kathy, you know, I know you want the Dodgers, but really, I mean, you know, it's a great freaking thing to watch Major League Baseball. It's still a one nothing ball game. <laughs> and here's Sutton coming out now. You all realize Stratomatic is a conceptual game. Card and dice. The, 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 the interface, the graphical interface for the computer game is, uh, what could I say, 1990s or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that's not what you're using it for. You're using it because it's Stratomatic and you think that uh, it's good statistically and in terms of outcome, but this is a conceptual thing. Uh, someday in the future, it'll be so easy just with your mind to create visuals of what's happening in a game. Uh, but for now, I have a Don Sutton 7-Eleven cup. I think it's a Slurpee. And he's on the mound. And he's gonna face Gonzalez, Aaron, and Cardi. Here's Sutton now. And the mystery, is he a right-handed hitter or not? We'll continue. And we'll get to the bottom of this. Here's Tony Gonzalez. He, unfortunately, he has passed away. We will consult with Aqualung. We will document. And I hope you don't mind uh, if I document, do this on X. Uh, Joel, I won't mention your name unless you want me to. <laughs> uh, I could even provide a link to your, your channel, you know, unless you're not interested. I, I, don't, I don't really find you to be one who is very attention-seeking. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... Here we go. Gonzalez 0 for 1. Now he let that ball get by. I think it was the uh, Sizemore double. He let that. Here's the pitch. That's 5-5 five, five left-handed. Fly ball left. Under that is Mota for the out. One away. And here's Henry Aaron. Future Hall of Famer, I think it's fair to say. He might even have a chance to break Babe Ruth's record, him and Mays. Both, I think, reaching 3,000 this year. I could be wrong. 
I think it was in 69, they both reached 3,000 hits. It was a Sports Illustrated. There were only about like 10 people <laughs> who had 3,000 hits. You gotta realize we've lived 60 frickin' plus years, some of us, since all of that. That's actually 55 years ago, 56 years ago. You had, you know, you had Cobb, Tris Speaker. Uh, I believe Speaker had 3,000. You know, Hornsby. Um, I, I'd have to think of some of them. I can't really re remember them right now. But I remember Mays and Aaron were right there and they both, I don't know, Mays got it first, Aaron, I mean, Mays started earlier. It seems like yesterday, it does. They were only like, you know, there were only like, oh, a dozen people who had 500 home runs or more. Ruth was 714. And then you had, uh, first Mays was ahead of Aaron, but then Aaron passed him. Then Aaron had 755. Ruth 714. Uh, Mays 660. And then I don't remember what they were under there, but you had people like Jimmy Fox. Um, let me see who else, 500. Killebrew. Um, I'm trying to think. You know, you, you had, uh, Ted Williams did not have 3,000 hits. Isn't that interesting? He lost a lot from the war. Two wars. Two freaking wars. Uh, Ernie Banks had five, like 12 or something like that. You had, uh, you had Jimmy Fox and, and Ruth. I'm trying to think what real old timers there were, might have been. Fox, Ruth. Uh, um, yeah, you had Killebrew. I don't know, there were, there were a couple others, not many. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way it was. So, and look at all this. Well, when you, you go 60 years, you're gonna have a shitload of uh, records. <laughs> yeah. Mel Ott, 5'11". Mantle, 521, absolutely. These are the members of the 500 Club. I know, say, for 3,000, I, I could have sworn you have Speaker Hornsby Cobb. Um, and, you know, Hornsby sort of overlapped into the modern era. So, you know, he's dead ball modern. Uh, Hornsby, Lajeway. Lajeway had to have 3,000. Frank Robinson, that's a lot of fucking home runs. Look at that. I hope you folks don't mind the language. Sometimes I get into a mood, you know, I'm coming in a, in a mood of, cursing, you know, the sprightly use of, of, of strong language, you know, I'll tone it down. Uh, Frank Robinson, 586, so now you have all these freaking people. One day I woke up and I saw this guy named Tome, and this was like, during the period when I did not follow baseball, I was into my career, you know, and only, you know, and I learned this whole freaking thing of this guy, Tome, who hit over, yeah. Musel, of course, how could I forget Musel? And Musial played a lot of freaking years. In fact, you know the joke, you've heard it a million times, and I'm sorry, but maybe someone hasn't, that he met with JFK and he joked, some people say you're too young to run, Musil said to Kennedy, and some people say I'm too old, and uh, it was a running gig. Very, very funny. Six, oh, frickin' six, that's madness, and I didn't even know I was so out of baseball then that one day I woke up to read it, and it's like I'm, I've been, it's like another world, it's like a Rip Van Winkle kind of thing, okay? Here's the pitch to Aaron. That's going to be a 6-3. Uh, Right-handed fly ball left X. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
This was not a left field X. What am I doing? I have no idea where I am in this freaking game. Am I, is this a new role for, for Aaron? Shit. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it through, then I'm gonna go, with, go back on it. So, this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. 6-3 left-handed. Shit. <laughs> That's Moda 214. You think this is fun for me that when this happens? 214, Moda. He's good. 214, that's 18. F3, E14. Moda. It's going to be some real detective work. 11. Um, E14. And he makes the catch. That looks like it's gonna be two, but we need to confirm this all. I hope you all don't mind. Some of you may say, well, what, what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Well, what's going on here is uh, instant replay. That's what it is. It's a replay of what the hell happened here. This was one of the weirdest things I ever saw. That's what it is. It's a replay of what the hell happened here. Only about like 10. Let's just, for one. Here we go. Let's check. He let that ball get by. Now here's Gonzalez. Here's Gonzalez now. Here's the pitch. That's 5-5 five, five left-handed. Fly ball left. That's a clean fly out. And that is Mota for the out. That is correct. Okay. And here's Henry Aaron. Now here's how, where I went off in. Future Hall of Famer, I think it's fair to say. This is Aaron. And we have a 5-6, uh, which would be a... might even have a chance to break Babe Ruth's record. We, I got, got off into all sorts of shit Both, here. I think, reaching 3,000 this year. I could be wrong. I think it was in 69, they both reached 3,000 hits. It was a Sports Illustrated. There were only about, like... 10 people who had 3,000 hits. You gotta realize we've lived 60 freaking plus years, some of us, since all of that. That's actually 55 years ago. There's still no role. Six years there were. Farmers there were. No, there were. I could have sworn. This will be the role. Sometimes. And this, this whole billion talk. And some people say I'm too old. I was so at. Here's the pitch to Aaron. That's going to be a 6 3. Okay. <laughs> That's what the roll was. That's not what I have down here. And we'll get to the bottom of this. Here's the roll. And we go 6 3 right handed. That's going to be a fly ball left X. Yeah. And that's what we did. We we played it. Yeah, we uh, played it out. Right-handed fly ball left X. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. This was not a left field X. What am I doing? I have no idea where I am. <laughs> it is out. We, we processed that already. And we're ready to move on. That just gives me peace of mind. You know, sometimes you your head, you know, can play tricks on you. Uh, let's get back to this ball game here. Do you like minting money? Well, uh, let's get let's get back to this ball game. Stan had eighteen hundred fifteen on the road, eighteen at home. Wow, that's consistent. Shit. You know, Stan, Stan, uh, he's in baseball heaven. Okay, here's Cardi now. God almighty. Sutton, and that's a 1-4 right-handed hit deep by Rico. Oh, it's high, and it's long, and it is gone. Oh, that was hit deep to left center. 
and Rico Cardi has tied up the ball game, and boy did it get quiet here at Dodger Stadium, my lord, lord, Rico, this is what they've been doing all year, 1-4, right-handed clean as a, <laughs> as a baby's ass, yeah. He may not hit 40 home runs a year, but boy, he can cloud him out on a, <coughs> a pretty consistent basis. And when he's not doing that, he's hitting doubles and singles. Rico ties up this ball game one to one. And look at that, look at them in that dugout. Like a bunch of kids who are looking forward to postseason. Home run number 24 for Rico. He had 16, so he's really pounding that ball. I like that. And we're all tied here. Sutton let one away from him. Now here's another tough hitter he's got to face, Orlando. It's Braves one, Dodgers one here, top of the fourth. Orlando single doubled up. There's Sutton, one six, right-handed. Grounds are to short. Will's on one hop to Pretty Boy, and the side is retired. So they do get a run on a home run by Rico. <laughs> His 24th of the year. sure are grateful for that kind of good hitting he had some kind of serious uh, physical problem at one point. He had 366 in 1970, I believe. He, uh, he only had 304 at-bats this year, but that's still a lot of at-bats, and that is a 342 average, mind you. He didn't qualify for the title, of course. And it is a one-to-one -one ball game. Okay, here's Necro coming out to pitch the bottom of the fourth. It's a one-one ball game now. And it'll be Lefebvre, Haller, and Sizemore for the Dodgers. Here's Lefebvre. Five eight left handed grounds to second X. That's Rico one seventeen.
E2, E17, 5910, and he throws him out. Here's Haller. Negro making that knuckler work for him. He has allowed some hits. He hit a batter, but he is intimidating. Nevertheless, here's Haller now. That's one five right-handed fly ball center. It's shallow. Gonzalez running in, and he makes a shoestring for the second out on a 1-5 right-handed. And here's Ted Sizemore. Okay, here's Necro with two outs, nobody on. Pitch two size more. That's gonna be three five right handed. Walked him. Size more on. Not being held, and here's Sutton now. Nice family crowd here at Dodger, even though they're out of it. This was not their year. All right, Necro. And the pitch to Sutton. One nine, he struck him out.
Everything will be all right. Here's Cletus now. Top of the fifth. Three five right handed walked him. Cletus draws a base on balls. Not being held, and Bob Didier. He had the single, he was left on. He had a leadoff single in the third, left on. A hey, bunter. Whoa, he's gonna lay it down. He's a B now. He'd be a B now. The pitch to Garrido. Laying that shit down. And that's a four. It's hit to first. It's a five. And it's good. Lord, he almost beat it out. But he brought the infield in there, made him a B. So Garrido, with a sacrifice, Cletus in scoring position now for the unlikely chance that maybe Gil Garrido can knock it home. They're playing a little small ball here, the Braves. It's tied up 1-1. Here's Sutton now. Oh, 3 9 right handed. Grounds it to short A with a runner on second. That's hit to short. He's going to hold. It was Wills holding Boyer. Two outs now. And here's Necro, Kathy Horton. Necro coming to the plate here, Kathy Horton. <laughs> With two down. This is a, uh, a huge, huge freaking situation here. Okay, here's Sutton now. Two outs, as you remember, Cletus in scoring position. Necro a three WR. Here's the pitch from Sutton. That's six nine. Right handed hit well, but he's W. And that's gonna drop in for Phillip. Oh my. It's extra bases. Boyer scores. It's a double for Necro. Oh my. He doubles off Sutton. Oh, is that something? The sacrifice by Didier. Garrido grounded out of the Necro in a clutch situation on a 6-9 right-handed. It was a 12 that works to his advantage. Still would have scored a run. It's 2-1 now on the double by Necro. And here's Felix now. There's another... <laughs> the 
This team has won 90 games. They have a chance. They, they're not going to win 100. I doubt it. They'd have to go... Uh, shit. They'd have to go... They they could only lose two more games, and they have 12 to go. That's a, here's Sutton now on the pitch. That's going to be a 5'11 right-handed graph fly ball center. And Davis under that. And the side is retired, but a run. A huge freaking run on the double by Phillip in a clutch situation. Oh, yeah, they've been hitting today. Absolutely. I think uh, uh, Kathy Harden notes they've been hitting in these strat games here this morning. Odom hit a freaking home run. <laughs> this was one hell of a game, folks. In fact, I'm going to do a, a highlight reel of just this ninth inning. Okay. And it was wild. <laughs> Miyamore, he put KC ahead, and you know, don't count him, he singled and scored here. Uh, Miyamore was really... Oh yeah, Necro with that clutch hit, absolutely, uh, that's what you love about baseball. Well, Necro takes the mound now. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Necro on the mound. He was a frickin' uh, pitcher's pitcher. I mean, he was a, he was a, uh, I don't think he was exactly, exactly the kind of guy who would overpower you with even, a, you know, any kind of speed. Uh, but I think he actually was more than just a knuckleball pitcher. He was a all sorts of kind of pitcher, a, a, a really a, a pitcher. He pitched games. He didn't throw. And uh, he wasn't a hard thrower. And now he comes through with the double. And it's a two to one ball game. Indeed it is. Um, okay, here comes the top of the order though. Wills, Moda, and Davis. Okay, here's Necro now. Pitch to Wills. That's going to be a 5-10. Switch hitter batting left, grounds to third X. So those pesky X's are pains in the asses when you're not in the mood for them. Really. Let's admit it. Let's hit the third. That will be to a boy or a 118. Don't you find that? 118. Gets it on a G1 E18. 5811. And oh, he boots it. Oh my. Oh, Boyer with the error. that again now it was 5 8 11 he is an e 18 and wait a minute oh there it is <laughs> and that is a one base error you know and the best of third baseman my father used to say that some of the better ones make more errors because they get to things then those should have been base hits that's the first error of this ball game Wills is on, he's the tying run, he's being held. He gets a lead no matter what. Negro a plus one, quotient. 
That's going to be 1 to 16, 1 to 14 with the lead. That is so borderline. I'm going to have Manny Moe to hit. And I'm not going to have him bunt because he's a good hitter. And it's intuition. Here's Necro now. Being held 6 9. Struck him out. Oh, Moda was fooled on that knuckler. And it's the sixth. I could still send Wills. Here's Davis now. He might send Wills with two outs. I don't know why I'm willing to do that. Necro, the pitch to Davis. That's going to be a 5-6 left-handed. Struck him out. Number seven. And here's Wesley. The only reason why I don't steal is because Wesley could hit one out. Not the biggest uh, home run hitter in the world, but he has end power. So Wesley comes up, two outs, it's Wills on first. Here's Necro. Five ten switch hitter batting left, Brown a third X. That's gonna be Cletus again. Cletus a one eighteen. <laughs> That's a re-roll. Don't even look. 318, that's 16-3. Uh, I'm sorry, he's a 118. I am so sorry. What am I even saying here? He is a 118 to third. That's going to be a 16-1 G1, of course. There are two outs. Let's see if he can get this. Oh shit, that's a high number. 5, 10, 16 on an E18, oh my. And he makes it a two base error, oh my. We'll look at it again and again and again. It's a two base fricking error. It's gonna be a G1 E2. Oh, 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 uh, G1E2, that's a shame. Only runners advance, only two. We're going to put it in first. And that's two errors by, and that's a, actually three errors in a way. It's, it's you know, <laughs> uh, that was a two base error. I guess you would call it that. That's not really two errors. Uh, Sadly, uh, Wills had to hold it third. And Crawford will come up in a clutch situation. Let's look at that again. It was Parker. He hit what looked to be like a knuckler. And we already realized it was ground ball third X. So we went over here. We looked at 16-1. We recorded the G1. And then we added him up, 5, 10, 16, and he is, I'm going to tell you, in God's name, an E18. And there's your 16 right there. That one's not faded. I open it up for this. I'm pretty sure it's an 18. I have it on blow-ups, graphical blow-ups. It's an E2. And you're going to call that a G1 E2 on a really pretty routine ground ball. Error, batter to second, runners advance too. So that's where we're at, and that's the way it is. And here comes Willie Crawford, who puts my feet to sleep. But he's a left-handed hitter. I don't know what kind of career he had. To me, he was a journeyman ball player. I could be wrong. Willie Crawford in a clutch situation.
because he was a major leaguer, so he had to be good. He played 14 years, all for the Dodgers until the last couple years. This is already his like his sixth year in Major League Baseball, and he he only played full time about two years, just barely hit 295 both years. So he he did once he played every day, he was good, but. He is a uh, lifetime 268 hitter. Uh, kind of puts my feet to sleep. Uh, but he's coming up in a clutch situation. So Negro will face Crawford here. And by the way, a lot of the top baseball cards, and even that's Shea, by the way. That's freaking Shea Stadium. Uh, a lot of the tops cards were done at Shea because it's freaking New York. Same thing in Yankee, you know, but that's like, you know, they didn't care. Okay. <laughs> they didn't freaking care. So Crawford steps in the batter's box. It is a clutch situation. Yeah. You had trouble with lefties. You bet your ass he had trouble with lefties. Jesus. And they let him hit 12% of the time against lefties. Okay, he is. Yeah, you're right. Here's Necro now from the stretch. Second and third. 2-1 Braves. 5-5 five, five left-handed, chops it to second, and Felix has it. And he throws it to Orlando, and the side is retired. So that'll be no runs, no hits, two errors by Cletus. And he's actually, look at him, he's, he's just got a pat on the back from one of his teammates, no harm. I guess the old adage from Shakespeare, all's well, that ends well. And uh, we've gone five, and it's two to one. I'm sure, I don't know that I agree with that completely because there are times where the process may end well, favorably, but the, uh, at great cost. So I'm not sure, but Shakespeare was a genius. If there ever was a genius. If it was really him, you know. So it's a two to one ball game. Sutton will come out. He's allowed two runs in five innings. That's not so bad against this brave club, but they've been one run in each of the last two innings. It will be Gonzalez, Aaron, and Cardi here. Top of the six, here's Tony Gonzalez now. Gonzalez steps in, 0 for 2 today. Here's Sutton now. That's gonna be four nine left-handed. And that is a base hit by Gonzalez. A leadoff single. Very rare chance of getting a lead. He will not be held. He will not try. We won't waste anybody's time. And here's Aaron now. You know, you could try to get the lead and then decide to hold them. No, you got to decide first whether you're holding them or not on defense. When you're playing solitaire, folks, when you're playing solitaire and they list it first, that's the way I do it. So it's Gonzalez on first not being held. 
I mean, you might as well try and get the lead. Sure. A three. Okay. I mean, it, it seems like a waste of time. He's, he's being, he's not being held. Okay, he's not being held. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna, he doesn't get it anyway. He's not being held. That's solitaire. It's not easy. Gonzalez on first. Oh, I know you didn't see that. Oh, yeah, that didn't go over. Okay, here's Henry now. Gonzalez on first, Henry at the plate. Here's Sutton from the stretch. Five, five right-handed fly ball center. And it's Willie Davis, one down. And here's Rico now. Rico hit that long one. We are a low budget program, but Rico steps into the batter's box. Here's Sutton now. And the pitch to Rico. Here it comes. Whoa, one eight. Doesn't look good there. It's a base hit for Rico. <laughs> Jeez, he's a hitter, isn't he? Gonzalez, round second, goes to third. Rico. With his second hit of the ball game. And the batter is Orlando now. Orlando. One for two. And this was a 5-2 game Dodgers in real world. Doyle came in for Atlanta and Sutton went all the way, but there is action in the Dodger bullpen. Maybe some of you think that's a little premature. Sutton's, uh, and then they have been just about, the Moeller and Forster pitched, but Al McBean, a right-hander is warming. Al McBean. Here's Orlando now. Okay, Sutton, infield back. Pitch to Orlando. Oh Lord, 4-10 right-handed. Fly ball right, and that's no question mark. And Gonzalez will tag to make it a three to one ball game. That's tagged up there. Hmm, two outs. It's just what Orlando needed to do there. 4-10 right-handed. And here's Cletus. Two outs, Cardi on first. Here's Cletus now. Two outs. Cardi on first pitch from Sutton. 
Three five and he walked him. Oh my, he's put two on here now. With two outs, clutch situation here for Didier. Hey Sutton, he looks in. There's the pitch, it's 1-6 right-handed. Walk, the base is loaded, oh my. And they're coming out here. I don't know who it is, pitching coach, whatever. Having a talk with him. Lord, he's had a, such a tough year here. Won only 10 games. He won 17 in real world. He's loaded the bases here in the six with two outs and, and uh, Garrido is coming up. They're gonna keep him in. Okay. Here he goes now. It's gonna be a full wind up here by Sutton. Sutton gets the sign from Haller. The wind up and the pitch to Garrido. That's a 1-5, he chops it to second. Oh, nice. Picked up by Sizemore over to Pretty Boy. And the side is retired, so. One run, though, <laughs> on two hits, two walks. Pretty pretty shitty inning there. He's lucky he only allowed one run. Uh, and we're heading to the bottom of the six. Philip Necro is freaking coming out here to continue doing his thing. He allowed a run in the first. You know, his knuckler got away from him. He allowed the triple to Wills. Then Davis tripled him home. And uh, actually, it was Moda who grounded him home. He allowed a double to Sizemore in the second, a double to Wills, but no hits since then in the third. Two errors by Cletus. Put a little scare in there, but he got out of it. And he's going to face Lefebvre, Haller, and Sizemore here. He slithered out of that mess. Oh, yeah. Of course, it was not really... Oh, this past inning, sure he did. He loaded him up, sure. And then got rid of Garrido. Well, that's a good thing he did that. Just barely staying in this game. It's 3-1 Lefebvre at the plate. Here's Necro now. Pitch to Lefebvre, that's going to be a 6-9 switch hitter batting left, fly ball left, and it's Cardi under it. One down. Here's Haller now. Haller. That's going to be 4-6 left-handed. Grounds to second for Felix. Two away. <coughs> ah. Oh, excuse me. And now Ted Sizemore. Oh. 5-5, five, five, right-handed. A fly ball to left. Routine fly for Cardi. And the side is retired. One, two, three. We'll see if Sutton can go one more inning. And then pinch hit for him in the seventh. We'll see if he can do it. This is Jeffrey Guterman, and this is the Stratomatic Network. And we're doing the 1969 replay. And 
kids. I have all sorts of shit here. God. let Sutton go ahead here. Uh, I'm going to take a break for about two or three minutes, if that's okay with all of you. Uh, this is the Stratomatic Network, in case you might be wondering. And uh, again, every game of the I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. I tell you that this is the Stratomatic Network.
Perfect timing. Don Sutton out here for his seventh inning. This is his first endurance inning. He's allowed three runs in six innings, and he's gonna face Necro. This will be his last inning. If he finishes it, there'll be a hitter for him if he finishes this inning. Here's Sutton. That's 3-8 and he struck him out. Now here's Felix 0 for 3 today. Five five right handed fly ball center for Davis, two away. And Gonzalez, be nice if he's gotten into trouble the last couple innings, let up a home run in the fourth. Uh, see if we can get a one, two, three here. And they'll have luck bring a hitter up. Here's Tony Gonzalez. That's 4 7 left handed, and he struck him out. And it's the seventh inning stretch. And we're heading, that's it for Sutton here. Sutton gets a, a lot of people know it. The crowd, they give him a hand. Let's see who's hitting. It looks like it will be McBean coming in. Let's see who's hitting here. Let's see who hit in real world, just for the hell of it. Russell pinch ran, that was it. Again, it was Dodgers 5-2 over Atlanta in real world. Here. They're going to bring in Len Gabrielson. Len Gabrielson is coming into hits. He is a left handed hitter. Here's Negro now. Dodgers down by two. The wind up. There's the pitch, 5 8 left handed. Grounds to second X. It's for Felix. A 1 17. <sighs> 
G2. Six ten thirteen E seventeen, and he throws him out. That's an eighteen. We'll show it to you though. It's faded. E17, 13, nowhere to be found. So that will be a clean G2 ground out. Two me on. Gabrielson retired. And here's Wills, a triple score, double left on, reached on an error and left on. Oh, Negro now. Six seven switch hitter batting left, and it's a base hit for Wills. They're down by two. Wills three for four today. Reached base four times, once on an error. Being held. One to 16, one to 14. Being held, not going because they're down by two. And well, I just don't want to have a guy being thrown out on a 15 or something or a 16 when you have the tying run at the plate. Here's Manny Moda now. Moda 0 for three. Here's Necro. That's going to be 3-3. Three, three. Ground it to third, that's gonna force Wills. That'll be two outs and Moda is on. Now they hope for a home run by Davis here. He's got the power. He's got the freaking power. Okay, Davis now. Tripled, hit by a pitch, and struck out. The pitch from Necro. Oh, sorry about that. My arm hit that. All right. All's fine. Here's the pitch. That's going to be 3-5. Oh, he chops it to first. And Orlando takes it and throws it to Nico covering the, covering the bag. And the side is retired. No runs. The single by Wills, one left. It's still a 3-1 game. And here's Al McBean. Al McBean coming in. Okay, here's Aaron to lead it off. He's 0 for 3. It's 3-1 Braves. Even a simple game like this, you would say, they're so tough. Necro pitching so well. 
Here's the pitch to Aaron. 3-8, grounder to short, one out. Here in the top of the eighth. Now Rico, two for three today. He had the game tying home run. It's a quite a Saturday of strat indeed. Glad this one's winding down, I'm exhausted. Here's Rico now. Nick Bean. That's 5-3 right-handed. Fly ball left X. Moda, 2-14. That's a 1-2 double. D2, 5, 8, 12, E14. Oh, and it's a two base error. It's a double and a two base error. Uh, that's, he's going to go to third. <laughs> it's a double and an error. That's what it really is. By Moda. And that's going to put Cardi on third. First error for the Dodgers. And here comes Orlando. First and third, one out. They're going to just play the infield back. They don't care anymore. Here's McBean. 5-2, right-handed. Hit deep by Orlando. And kiss that shit goodbye. Oh, kiss that shit. Gone. A two-run home run. It's all earned. And that's going to make it a five-to-one ball game. There it goes. Orlando. They're taking batting practice for the playoffs. They'll probably be facing Pittsburgh. We're not sure. But we think so. 5-2 right-handed. Oh, no, it's a ballpark blast. Oh, my. Look at me. And no one even called me on it. It's in L.A. He's a right-hander. And it is not. It's a fly ball to right. B. It's a fly ball to right caught by Crawford. And Aaron will tag. It's no home run. That's no home run. And we'll take two, uh, one of those away. Shit. <laughs> one of those away. That's his second frickin' sack fly. Holy cow. That's his second frickin' sack. The, the winning run was also a sacrifice fly by Orlando. How the hell do you like that? And here comes Cletus. It's four to one. Okay, here's McBean. And the pitch to Cletus. Oh. Five, six, right handed, pops it up to short. And that's two away.
Now that's the side. That's the frickin' side. But another run. And we're heading to the bottom of the eighth, everybody. It's now a four to one ball game. Necro has been really special today. There have been times, you know, he had runners on base. He let up some hits. He let up a run in the first, but he's been Phil Necro. And it's gonna, he's gonna face Pretty Boy Crawford and Lefebvre, bottom of the eighth. Dodgers down by three. Here's Necro now, the pitch to Parker. That's gonna be 2-6 right-handed. Tap back to Necro, and it's one away. And here's Crawford. Crawford steps up. One out. Necro on the mound. Nobody on. And here's the pitch to Crawford. That's going to be a 5-8. Left-handed grounds to second X. Again for Felix, all day long, 117. All frickin' day. 117, 18, 1, it's a G1. Felix gets to it, can he hold on? 5, 10, 11, 12, E18. Yes, he does. Two down. And here's Lefebvre now. Oh shit. We have breaking news, folks. Uh, let me just get some of this shit going on. Thank you. Maybe this will help me, you know, distract me. Want to see what kind of attack we're talking about. Nothing like a good war, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if I'm so jaded. Dozens of drones at Israel. Well, I don't know what the hell that means. I'd like, I want to see, I'm talking destruction and death. I mean, I don't want there to be, but you know. What a frickin' world we live in. Dozens of drones. And what the hell is those drones gonna do? Are they bombs? When they say launch drones, are those bombs? You know what I'm saying? But we'll keep tuned. Here's Lefebvre facing Necro now. Oh, God. That's going to be 5-5, five, five, switch hitter batting left, grounds to second, Felix again. And the side is retired. We're heading to the ninth. Here's Al McBean. Allowed a run in the eighth. They say this uh, White House is reporting the attack is, quote, likely to unfold over a number of hours, unquote. I also get a live feed from uh, on YouTube, on Agenda Free TV, it's pretty good. Uh,
And if I get anything, I'll pass it on to you. I will pass it on. See, these freaking people, they got like eight talking heads going at once. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Okay, here's McBean. He'll face Didier to start it off. Dodgers down by three, Braves batting top of the ninth. This is the second and final game of their two-game series. This is their last meeting of the year. And here we go. McBean is ready, and the pitch to Didier. That's going to be 310. Right handed. It's a base hit by Didier off McBean. Mm, uh, big yawn. <laughs> and here's Gil Garrido. That'll be some matchup, though. Braves, Pirates. In the playoffs. And here's Garrido now. Five five right handed struck him out. And now Philip Necro comes up to the plate. can eat up, folks. One thing leads to another. <clears throat> okay, Necro had the big double in the fifth. Here's McBean. 4-11. Negro, right-handed, and he grounds it to third. That will be a double play, and that'll take us to the bottom of the ninth. I'm sorry I sort of ran out of steam here, folks, but it happens. Negro trying to get the complete game 21st win of the season, and it's going to be Haller leading it off. Here's Heller now. Three eight right handed lines it to short and that's caught by Garrido. One out. Here's Sizemore now. Negro two outs away. Four four right handed. And that's a ballpark slash off Necro, who by the way is in his first endurance inning. It's a twenty though. That's the Dodgers luck. Right handed hitter. Oh ho ho. And it's a liner to short. And it's Garrido two outs. You, you're, you're, 
Your wallet can't take financing another war. Are you kidding me? I think we're all paying for that. You're right. Another frickin' war. And there's gonna be a hitter here for McBean. about that. Well, we're going to do the best we can. We're going to bring in the left-handed hitter, Tom Hutton. Tom... Hutton. And here we go, Necro, Hutton left-handed hitter, the wind-up, you'll be with a, on the corner with a tin cup and a sign. Here's Necro now, and the pitch to Hutton. Six, seven, left-handed, and it's a base hit by Hutton. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Hutton is on, he'll run. It was a six, seven, left-handed. Single one to 12, a two. And that's going to bring Wills up. <laughs> uh, it brings up Maury now. Dodgers down by three here. Six, seven, left-handed again, same roll. And it happens, and it's another base hit. And we rolled it. It's also nothing you can do about it, but roll them really good again. And Will's now four for five today, reached on an error. First and second. I'm sorry, that was a, yeah, first and second now. And Moda comes up the tying run. Necro one hit or walk away from fatigue. But Moda does not have power. Davis on deck. He's got average though. Wills on first, Hutton on second, two outs. Necro, one hitter walk away from fatigue. Dodgers down by three, Moda the tying run at the plate. 
Here's the pitch from Necro. That's 4-11. He walked him. Oh, my. And here comes Willie Davis. Oh, my. He walked him. Oh, and that's it for Necro. Oh, my. That's it for Philip. That's going to be it for Necro now. He ends up pitching eight and two-thirds innings and reaches fatigue. Even he gets tired. Seven hits. Walk two. Let's see who's coming in here. Wilhelm and Nieb Niebauer pitched last time. Doyle came in. Uh, it's going to be Davis, left-handed hitter. They may bring Doyle in, the left-hander. In fact, that's exactly what they're going to do. Doyle, who pitched in real world, is a left-hander. And he will face Willie Davis here. With bases loaded, two outs. Davis is the winning run at the plate. The bases are loaded. The Dodgers are down by three. Davis, the winning run at home play. And Paul Doyle has come in to relieve Necro, who fatigues. Okay, here's Doyle now. Full wind up. And the pitch to Davis. That's 6 3 left handed. Fly ball left. Oh, no, Cardi. Oh, 414, holy, Cardi 414. Oh my, Cardi trying to get to that. 414, 54, base hit. Two runs will score, E14, 510, 13. It's an S2 single for Davis and Hutton and will score. Moda goes to third. And now it is a four to three ball game. Oh my. And look who's coming up, pretty boy. Oh, my Lord, pretty boy is coming up. Oh, my. Pretty boy switch hitter. Let's look at that again on Cardi. Cardi a little slow trying to get to that. It was 5-4, that's an S2 single. He's an E14, 5-10-13. And there's no error. S2 single advances twice. Two came in. First and third. And Doyle's struggling here. He, He has struggled here. I'm gonna try to make it really realistic for you all. I'm gonna make 
it real easy for you all now. It's going to be Beanie and Cecil Upshaw coming in. I know his ERA is, but it's very realistic. After he got hit like that, and Parker is not as good against right-handers. So it is a Beanie and Cecil situation here. Where did Doyle come in? Shit. When did I bring Doyle in? No, oh, that was right here. Okay, here's where I brought Doyle in. You talking about Pretty Boy? Oh, yeah. This is where when he reached... Wait a minute, one two oh was over here. I'm so sorry. It was one two three. we took him out. Just gonna do a quick replay just to make sure we got that going right here. That it was he came in. Not that it really matters, but uh, right here. We want to see when Necro came out. Six seconds, Willie Davis. Oh my. He walked him. Oh, it's after and that's it for Necro. Oh my! That's yeah, some old film. guy. Yeah, some old guy. Yeah, that's right. He let up this just this one base hit to Davis. We didn't have remote control, old guy. Though. Just loaded two outs. Left. Oh no, car. Oh my. For Davis and Hutton, and will score. Moda goes to third. That was right. It's funny how. And now it is a four to three ball game. Oh my! And I think it's very realistic that they're pulling him and they're bringing up Shaw in know how here. I pay only forty-eight dollars. Uh, Very, very freaking realistic. Isn't that something? Doyle face one batter. In fact, he could be the loser. Doyle could be the loser. He and and Necro still responsible for Moda. It's first and third, two outs. Pretty boy coming up. Doyle ends up pitching zero innings, one hit. And here's Upshaw. It's a Beanie and Cecil Upshaw situation here. Some old guy, you bet, you bet you played this as a kid. It is a Cecil and Beanie Upshaw situation. And it all comes down to this. Davis, the winning run on first, Moda on third. The tying run, which is all oh, god awful important. Upshaw is ready. Here's the pretty boy now. This would be something, wouldn't it? Okay, Upshaw.
from the stretch. Cecil and Beanie Upshaw, the pitch to Pretty Boy Parker. Two, three, right-handed. Oh, grounds it to second. And it's Felix. And he throws it to Orlando, and this ball game is over. It was a good one, though. It, <laughs> it was a two, three, right-handed Cecil and Beanie get him. The side is out. The final here in LA, Atlanta four, Atlanta, uh, LA Dodgers three. You got it. Was he 20 and 20? That would be pretty wild. Necro gets the win. We didn't know how many runs he'd let up. He ended up allowing three. It's his 21st win of the season. Uh, Sutton, the loss. Actually, actually, McBean gets... Wait a minute, did they ever lose the uh, lead? No, no, Sutton gets the loss. You might think it's McBean, except Sutton, they went up losing and they never regained the lead. I don't keep that stat anyway. So it's Atlanta, four runs, eight hits, two errors. LA, three runs, eight hits, one error. Pretty close game. And it was a tough one right until the end. I want to thank everybody for being here. And let's hope that things... don't get too out of whack in this crazy world in which we live. Thank you, Kathy. Thank mm -hmm. you.